What is going on YouTube world? Some mail. Sharing with you some mail. We got a <clears throat> handful of it in over the week and let's see what we got. We got a lot here. It was pennies on the dollar. Literally. And I mean there's some okay stuff in here. But for like nine bucks shipped, I think I did well. Some of these I will not put on the stands, but a Milan Hayduke, uh, UD MVP, rookie, Joe Volkop, uh, Bowman's best, second year, I believe. Let's see what else. I mean, there's a couple just in Brandos in there. Big card here, Todd Ellick. 92 93 Ultra, that's probably. A good two to three cent card. Great one, ninety one, ninety two score. Look at that flow. That that's amazing. Then we got a Chris Kell Keller. That's a big card, too. It's high school picture there, maybe. It's Bantams. Um, <clears throat> a sniper out of UD MVP. We have Lindros. Trying to get through the non. Here's another one. Thomas Caberlet, who was a solid defenseman for a good number of years. Rookie card. Here comes the uh, forced air, right in time. This fancy fancer, uh, Gretzky, is special forces, out of MVP. <clears throat> These are all in screw downs too. I gotta take them out at some point. I got a recce. down a little so you don't see my fingers probably not in front of me. <clears throat> but the recce there it's a black label not the BLS like black label society um there's a what's it called a goal something Goal race 99, Seal Flurry. That again is also a black label. The reason you can tell, look at that uh, Topps Gold label. The base variation or version of these cards will just be in gold. The black, which is a parallel, and it's because uh, <clears throat> there's class one, two, and three, it's different numerical odds for each one and then you may see something that is different in a moment nice shine on the Gretzky there again these gold label those are cards I'd recommend getting in your collection <clears throat> if you love shine if you love a little foilage So then we got the black label Brodeur, which is the reason I wanted to get the lot. These last three cards are absolute bonuses for me. For even other folks out there, they may not care, but I do. And that's all that matters. We got a Pinstripes, Aurora Premier Date. Chris Drury. It's amazing what the I think my first video was a little bad on this. Maybe there we go. The Mike Vernon 
Omega. I think it's an opening day. God. Yeah, it's an opening day. If you look on the right on the foil, you see 45 or 56. Try to tilt it. If you look at hit, there you go. You can see that emboss. It's almost like a show stamp from the the old days, as it were. I hate to move Marty out, but I guess you'll see some more foil. We got Adam Graves red. If you look again on that foil right up there. That is red. And then there's a um, I don't know if it's 98, 99 had any. I want to say 99, 2000 did, or 2000, 2001. They had one of ones, and that was a more gold rainbow foil. It was real gold. In the background, this is something you can't probably see. Yeah, there it is. <clears throat> see his picture there? You see 41, the card number set. If you look right above it, a lot of these serial numbers were not done with foil. So be aware of that. So when somebody says, well, I got a red label and you don't see it, you, you've got to look. It's, it's, I don't know. I don't know what Tops did there, but uh, I picked up a lot. I think like seven bucks. this guy who I, I believe is criminally underrated in the hobby and hockey overall yet overshadowed a lot by Lindros so we got John LeClaire we got a Roaring Twenties card in the middle there from 95-96 Pinnacle we got a Donruss 96-97 hit list if you look down here at H's die cut you can see back there to the wall into the window and on the right we have a 95 96 score summit mad hatter insert again they came in a tops uh a penny sleeve you know like a thick case top load and that's why you don't see any protection on them right now but stadium club such nice inserts fit around there. Of course not, why would we? There we go. We got a Donruss 96, 97 gold press proof of 500. As I just uh, alluded to, that's a 95, 96 top stadium club power streak. And on the right hand side, Ninety-seven, ninety-eight pinnacle, artist proof. Went for some of those last night from TNT and lost. I wanted to go higher, but I chose not to. For reasons, for very, very good reasons. Ah, uh, we'll get some more cards here. Let's see. I got these from one seller. Don't look to be in the greatest condition, but again, I knew they were. Looks like a little beat up, but they didn't cost a ton in combined shipping. I got two of those, Heart of the Order, A Rods. A hot list of Joey Smith. This will take A Rod. And then, you know, look and say, what in the blue hell are these shenanigans you're pulling here? Oh, these are a couple pairs, or a couple pairs, a couple of the 98.99 Tops Mystery Finest. Still with their peel on, it's basically like a 
the top's finest, or Pinnacle certified, or Select certified, pardon me. This one's of Mr. Ziggy Palfy, the goat. And this one is of Martin Lombardor. So, we just keep them like that. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how the, the excitement goes. That's for someone, so it goes over there. Um, I have four, but you will not see one. That's earmarked for someone else from one of the Facebook groups. Uh, so we got Todd Helton, 93 Tops Update. Uh, a 2015 Tops, and I'm guessing this is going to be the update. All-Star Jersey Gold of Albert Pujols to 50. And then a 95 select artist proof of Barry Larkin. So, I mean, just pennies on the dollar for that. I think the most expensive was that Pujols, and that was like seven. Larkin might have been three, three and a half. Same with Helton. So, to get that, you can't. The rarity here a couple of uh one I have a few of I take that out momentarily at least and try to be a little better with the presentation. Still looking for this guy, believe it or not. <clears throat> we got two cards in this week of him. Out of 2007 on the right hand side, it is Ultra, Clear Ultra. The dual materials patch, dual patch, four colors on both of them, five breaks on both of them. That's serial number to 25. On the left, our 2006 Tops Chrome. <clears throat> the, what is that? Magenta printing plate autograph. So very, very excited to get those two. The one on the right always has had great patches. I mean, it's just... It's Dick Lee caliber patches. And then, that's the first time I believe I've seen a, <clears throat> any of the plates from 06 Tops Crow. I'm fairly certain I don't have any of those. I, I could be mistaken, but... I don't think I do, and I'm I'm super happy to get it. That's anytime I can get a jo Josh Johnson 101 plate or otherwise. I know some people sour on the plates, but you know what? <clears throat> For him, he didn't have a very long career, so I'm gonna pick up what I can, and I'm at the point where I'll pick up everything I can. So. I'm still going. I am. <clears throat> Seeing some messages pop up. That's, that's why I'm nervous. Um, next up is a... Well, probably be able to tell, but... 1998-99 UD Choice. Uh, Prime Choice Reserve. What else can I pair up with that, friend? I guess look with this. Pretty basic, but uh, 99-2000 Top Stadium Club Chrome Refractor of Brodeur. Mm. 
these are unnumbered. They didn't have any the first day or anything like that either. So that's a sort of a letdown, but nice for the wallet. There's two versions of this. this is there's a prime choice reserve and then just like the choice reserve. Choice is your one in four, one in six type of parallel. This one is numbered to 100 on the back. And I know that's on my uh, list, which I will reveal on Instagram tomorrow, Saturday, February 22nd. Because is it twenty second tomorrow? Or is it twentieth? Twentieth tomorrow. <clears throat> Just because I want to get it out there and make sure people know what I'm looking for. A um, couple more inserts here. Another one of those perspectives, or yeah, perspective. Brendan Shanahan. Bottom number to five hundred. Die cut on top. And then the EO, electrical, optical, or whatever, portrait. Of Brodeur, which... Again, it's Pacific, that's... I won't say what I'm gearing it towards, but I, I really want to push focus towards it, so... I love those cards anyway. I'm a Pacific fan. Couple that don't fit the collection, but I got them anyway because they're cheap. Um, a black diamond hardware. That's serial number to hundred. It's got the acetate there, where in the <clears throat> right next to the Vesna, and then a patch card. Oh, the SP uh, game used number seventy five. One color, little stitching in the left portion, but. Just cards that I that were too cheap to pass up at the price, and there's the serial numbering on the back to 99, and that's out of 1819 Black Diamond. But I've said that before, I might jump in there somewhere and pick that stuff up if it appeals to me. This was a freebie, a Pacific, and it came with this the Painted Warrior from 95 96, which surprisingly I didn't have. And I should probably take this out. But the 0102 Tops Chrome regular refractor. A little off center, but I, I don't know. Patience is a virtue. With me, it's tough. I should be a lot more patient. I will always tell people to be patient. And this one, the Painted Warrior on the back is to 2500 But there's times when you don't see stuff for a long period of time and you just get antsy and you pull the trigger. And that's what I did. So it's fine. It's fine. Just keep telling yourself it's fine couple serial numbered inserts here and parallels <clears throat> this one came in like a PWE from Canada which I was thrilled with and then Paul <clears throat> sent this to me on uh, Instagram and said brought it to my attention which I don't think I'd seen it in my usual usual every 10 minute searches on the left is UD Legends, the Century Legends. I passed up on a copy, I think, early on in my, the, the core four guys. Because the top was a little ragged. This one's a nice one. And then uh, on the right is a Paramount. I don't even remember what the, Sub-Zero. And that's the 99. Nothing fancy, but it's in that Pacific realm. And I like to get it. Get it and get it over and done with. Um, do three here because it's just a. If you know me, that's three. This one I'll put in the middle. I saw Matt had one of those. That was a rare time. Something else. Someone else put something up, and I'm just like, I need to get something immediately. And I'll show this side. Blood so and Carson Palmer, but the reason I got it. The other side 
Hasselbeck and Kerry Collins. Oh, peachy one, that's that's a cool one. Uh, plus it's a Casey Middlestat who played high school hockey here in Minnesota. AJ Vangus, uh, former PC, didn't really do much anything. One of five on that one, uh, four or five bucks. But this... They have that sticker on there, so... I think it's called Coast to Coast. <clears throat> we used to have a hardware store up here called Coast to Coast, but that was like in the 80s. And then here's two that I had mentioned. I'm going to end with, end with Doug Martin, so... No, I won't. I will put Dougie Martin up first. Here's a couple Duggies I got. One on the right is a Topps Chrome 2012 Red Refractor Autograph. Obviously, it's been sitting in the sun. Or somewhere where it's not protected because that autograph has faded a bit. It's still got a 10. And on the left is a certified uh, mirror gold freshman fabric, which I love them. This one is a very poor copy, but it's super cheap. And it's my daughter's birthday, July 25th, so... That always takes precedent over what the actual card swatches or whatnot looks like because I try to get those. And this one here is numbered one of five. So that's a big boy for the Dougie PC. I'm going to end with hockey because I like hockey. Great one. Wayne Gretzky. Perspective. That was about the price of two blasters. That's criminal. That legit is criminal. And then, the then and now is about the price of a blaster and tax. So Messi, my Gartner, with his absolutely memorable stint with the Phoenix Coyotes, and Gretzky, but the back, that's pretty much, if you want to get that card. Mark Messi, Gartner, And uh, Wayne Gretzky looking like Robin Gibb. So. This one also, like the Shanahan previous in the video, is to 500. Out of 96, 97 Elite. So, there it is, YouTube. Hope you guys enjoyed. And gal enjoyed. Take her easy. She's easy? Take her twice.